priest now for priest how this is working now i recommend at least 3 minutes homely every day you must break the word that is called breaking the word even if there is only 2 person in your holy mass you must break the word 3 minutes at least but what happens if you have to break the word for 3 minutes at least previous night you must read the gospel and then you apply this way you you pray as holy spirit how to break it what you what is the meaning of this and holy spirit will give you such a beautiful interpretation so who is the beneficiary the first beneficiary is the priest himself priest himself suppose you are going for holy mass celebrating in a congregation sister says father father today uh, you make it all fast you know because we have today inspection in the school or we have that we have this so please this is the problem you are going to a community for holy mass you are detected by the sisters sorry <laughs> and i i beg you don't cut down that area that is your complete spiritual treasure never say to a priest please make it faster don't make the homily today please don't do that then you are really quenching the spirit <laughs> holy spirit and jesus and the father will be very sad at least 3 minutes the priest must break the word and then you will be benefited nothing is going to fall down in 3 minutes whatever arjan work you may have you have to plan it in such a way at least a 3 minutes homely we need now suppose you are a teacher you are running a school you are thinking about the school and all the thing but this homely when you receive the content of that will be a very useful spiritual power for the whole day in the school as you are in the school maybe the students there are 3000 students the thousand souls are in your custody you are teaching the mathematics trigonometry algebra cos theta tan theta that is not enough we have to give them jesus you don't have to speak at least you are you are inner soul filled with the word and the spirit that will jump into the children mystical way so that is evangelization that is evangelization one day a lady invited me a lady told to her parish priest see thomas paul is a very good preacher from india can we call him for a exercise in a retreat for 5 days and the parish priest said no 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 impossible i don't want 5 days retreat is too much maximum he can come here to say one introduction for a holy mass <laughs> this lady was so much upset but she told me thomas paul i asked my parish priest for a retreat in our parish but he was so much he did not agree to that but he said one introduction that is maximum 7 minutes before holy mass you can come oh that is very good i'll come ha eh? will you come you have to drive 5 hours no problem 
and i so it was a sunday mass early morning so i have to go one day early i went taking train five hours i went there and i prepared myself and the sunday mass the church is full seven minutes so it is with translation and in that so already the news went around so another two three priests also came to see what this indian is going to speak about so in this seven minutes i had a translator that means in three and a half minutes only i have to say in three and a half minutes i said there are seven mysteries in the holy mass the baptism the incarnation baptism the public life of christ the passion death and resurrection and ascension and i it will be explained in every holy mass christ life is reenacted through the seven mysteries and the first is when we speak when we sing gloria it is the mystery of incarnation when we speak the word of god that is the mystery of baptism and proclamation and the public life and then in the anaphora tak 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 i explain the whole mass in seven minutes and i said in my experience when the epiclesis is prayed it is not only coming upon the bread and wine it comes in all of us that is how i experienced the holy mass and at the end these priests were so touched and this parish priest came and hugged me he said thomas paul what a powerful sermon you gave in 5 minutes you explained the whole holy mass in 5 minutes i want you to come here for 5 days please come hallelujah <laughs> see the quality the quality what we deliver the pain we take for that to give this 5 minutes i traveled literally the previous day i considered it is a holy mass it is so many sunday worshipers and all the people after the mass came and said oh so the mass was a very good experience so this 5 minutes is going to make an experience in the holy mass <laughs> that's the point it is not my 5 minutes preaching that 5 minutes is going to be remembered their whole lifetime because their expression about the holy mass once they experience they will never forget so these are the ways the gift of revelation works gift of revelation so saint paul say you must be ready ever ready to preach ever ready you should not say oh i have not prepared no you stand there holy spirit will speak that is what luke chapter 12 12 says when you stand up holy spirit will give you the word will speak and god will do marvelous things like that marvelous things okay now comes to the aspect of counseling or a using the gifts to to help one another in terms of counseling or praying now jesus was with the samaritan woman and jesus came to the samaritan woman jesus knew everything about her so jesus said about that water etc etc then this woman said give me that water all right call your husband oh no i have no husband hmm you had five husbands and the one whom you are now living it is not your husband what how you know all these things who jesus jesus is a very good biographer he gave in two sentences the whole biography of this woman now here we have to apply one is the literal trend literal meaning another is a spiritual meaning 
so there are interpretations they say it is not only about her moral situation it is the situation in the israelites when they denied true god that is like a prostitution when they worship false idols that is like a prostitution so you are worshiping false gods who are not god that is also a interpretation you had five husbands that means you are worshiping five gods who are not god and now with whom you are worshiping is not your husband because now she says where is the real worship my people say in mountain your people say in jerusalem and now jesus says woman believe me the true worshiper will worship god in spirit so our point is when jesus said this you had five husbands so this we can say as a word of knowledge a word of knowledge about her personal life and that become her testimony she was so touched by that she said i see you are a prophet he huh? few minutes back she said i will not give you water you are a jew go away but now step by step her understanding grew i see you are a prophet then after some time she says messiah will come when he comes he will teach us everything now jesus says the one who is speaking to you is the messiah hey! oh my eyes are seeing the lord see the development in 5 or 10 minutes time he transformed this woman she became the first evangelist she left her pot there and went running to the city of samaria and gathered all the people evangelization you must watch all this video i have made a very good uh, animation film on this <laughs> very good it is and then so this word of knowledge now suppose you are working in hospital there are somebody is sick but several medicine is given there is no healing taking place the person is having severe back pain all the x rays then no problem medicines are given but nothing is happening now as a nurse as you go and take the pulse of this person in between you pray oh holy spirit what is wrong with this man oh holy spirit speak to me about this man holy spirit he is so sick speak to me what is the problem and holy spirit say to you he is hating his own brother they are not talking for many years he is not able to forgive ha oh, okay okay now this is a word of knowledge it is a word of knowledge now there are certain situations you have to use word of wisdom suppose the holy spirit has shown a vision then that needs interpretation now you have to be prudent you have to talk to this man hello how are you today who are there in your home oh, i have so and so what about your brother sister and all what brother no don't talk about my brother i hate him this will be his reply then you have to say oh my dear you are brother why do you hate your brother you know jesus said love one another what happened no he did that 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 bad things now speak about 
and meanwhile you pray oh holy spirit fill him with the love of god fill him with the love of god so you say i will pray for you i will pray for your brother i will let us pray like this jesus i love you jesus i love you you love me you love my brother also for you everybody say oh jesus fill me and in a little time he started crying then you know already the work is going on then you say yeah come on your brother born from your own mother why do you hate let us forgive him ha <sighs> he look at us and say shall i forgive yes forgive <laughs> he uncontrollably started crying and forgiving after that suddenly he gets up eh hey, hey, i am getting up i am okay i have no pain yes now when you forgive god's life and love came into you you are healed stand up and see kneel down bend down the back pain is over god i tell you so many sicknesses are psychosomatic so many sicknesses i remember a woman who was paralyzed for 9 years i was conducting a parish retreat so the people came the father said uh, thomas there is a woman who is paralyzed she cannot come can you visit yeah, sure sure i will visit so we must visit the sick people why because jesus said when i was sick you visited me so i went there she was so angry why you came here go away i don't want i hate god why god put me down like this for 9 years god took away my father god took away my mother the same year i hate god shattered so now we understood what is the reason her father and mother lost in few months gap so she cannot accept it nine years are over she cannot accept it she is full of sadness full of hatred she she is hating god so already i began to pray oh lord fill her fill her with the love of god fill her with the holy spirit fill her holy spirit fill her oh holy spirit come fill her fill her. and then i started showing toiling her do you know where is your mummy and daddy oh i don't want to know i don't know you know your daddy your mummy is with jesus in heaven what with jesus in heaven really yes they were very good church going people where they should be and all of us will die i will also die tomorrow i will also go to heaven so they went ahead hey my dad my mom is in heaven with jesus <laughs> who that is a good news who so let us thank god let us thank everyone who born will die some people die early some people die late let us accept the reality let us thank god that they lived so much time they gave you birth they gave you education they gave you everything let us thank god okay okay i thank you jesus i thank you jesus i thank you jesus for my mother i thank you jesus for my father i thank you i thank you as she was saying i thank you thank you her hands are coming up like this eh 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 my hand is good my hand is no more paralyzed and i just gave my hand so she got up she got up she standing 
look you are standing why don't you walk <laughs> thank you jesus thank nine years paralyzed person got up walking what was the reason of the paralysis the 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 sadness the anger everything so when we understand god's glorious work of death and resurrection and our parents who died they are all with god and our sadness must go away then the healing take place so this is the work by by using the charisms by using the charisms we can find out the root causes of such type of sicknesses such type of sicknesses i have so much experience and examples miracles after miracles happened when god revealed the root cause another person coming to my memory he was a soldier with a big mustache and but he is he is completely weak he is born become like a rubber he cannot stand he collapsed so he was laid on a easy chair and brought to us so when i prayed for her the lord told me that he has such a sadness because of the death of his father so straight away we should not handle we have to first pray oh holy spirit fill him with your joy fill him with your joy he is so sad feeling and then i ask him ah, what are you, what happened to you when your daddy died oh, he died in my hands he is such a strong man with a big mustache a, a captain of so but now he is crying like a child my daddy died in front in my hands and i cannot accept it why god took away my dad then i had to pray your dad is with god he is in heaven tomorrow me and all of us will go to heaven you have to accept this reality accept it holy spirit will help you you are sick because of this sadness and then when he prayed when i prayed for him and suddenly <laughs> suddenly a power came to him and he jumped up he jumped up so these type of things will help the people to grow in their faith and grow in the teaching okay now we must go for the break then after we come back we will do a workshop on this type of a, a active if the type of charism directly praying asking the holy spirit word of knowledge word of wisdom okay now let us pray now thank you jesus everybody stand up and pray open these charisms open this charism of interpretation of the scripture through revelation through the word of wisdom through the word of knowledge hallelujah hallelujah everybody you do you want it do you want all these charisms do you want it do you want it are you thirsty then praise hallelujah lord i want we want we eagerly desiring we want these charisms hallelujah hallelujah open in us the word of wisdom word of knowledge word of wisdom word of knowledge gift of interpretation shala halabala halabala oh holy spirit fill us holy spirit empower us holy spirit anoint us holy spirit open in us holy spirit anointing open the anointing open the anointing open the gifts of the holy spirit open the gifts of the holy spirit let us holy spirit come holy spirit clap and sing hallelujah hallelujah come holy spirit 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 amen amen